Okay, so for uh, question 19, for those, for those of you who aren't sort of seeing it, the, the way it works, and you know, they can present this information to you in many different ways. So the key thing is that when you, when you look at, when you're trying to compare two different uh, molecules, look at something that's the same in both as sort of like a flag so, you know, so that you know what you're comparing. So look at the uh, Hayworth structure in figure one and the Fisher projection in figure two. We're going to compare those. The, the parts that stick out or should stick out to you, because you're not sure what's going on with these OH groups, uh, up and down and left and right, because uh, you didn't memorize it, and they're expecting you to be able to figure it out during, during the exam. So, you look at something that you can clearly see, and that's the relationship with oxygen that's in the ring and the CH2OH group. This is the thing that you can clearly see. So now, for the Hayworth projection, the, uh, the relationship between oxygen and the CH2OH group is sort of a um, counterclockwise. Counterclockwise? Yeah. Counterclockwise. You see that it's, it's moving off to the left, okay? So it's moving off to the left. So now, in the Fisher projection, the relationship between oxygen and the CH2OH group is clockwise. It's moving off to the right. So this means opposite. And if you've attended some of these uh, webinars before, you know I've said a million times that Acer loves opposites. They love twisting your mind uh, in two different directions uh, to see whether or not you can handle it. It's a very important, it's not just a joke, it's, it's a very important part of science um, to, to have that uh, skill. So now, it, once you recognize that one is, go they're going in the opposite directions to each other, then you just have to standardize a decision. And that is that when you go uh, for figure one, you go O to the carbon with the CH2OH group, then the next carbon, which is the carbon on the far left, has an OH group pointing downwards. When you, when you go in the clockwise direction in the Fisher projection, you go O to the carbon with the CH2OH group, then the first carbon with an OH group is to the right. And then, during the exam, you absolutely must write down what you have discovered. And that is that down equals right. And then you can uh, confirm it by going to the next carbon in the Hayworth projection, which has an OH group pointing up. And then you compare it to the next carbon in the Fisher projection, which has an OH group going up. Now you have established the reality that gets you three questions correct. <laughs> because once you realize this, and you didn't have to memorize it, we just discussed um, you know, carbohydrate chemistry just so that you have a background and a sense of uh, what's happening. But this is really... Uh, spatial reasoning, you know, because this could have been widgets, it could have been uh, all Greek letters, it could have been anything. But when you're looking at figure one, you look at the oxygen group inside of the ring, you go to the left, you have a CH2OH group up. That's the key relationship that you have to keep in mind. Oxygen, carbon, and CH2OH group, fine. And the next carbon has an OH group going down. Now, let's go to the Fisher projection. We have the oxygen. We have the carbon with the CH2OH group. Then we go to the very next carbon, which is on top, so to speak. And that carbon has the OH group on the right. So now we know down is right. We're down right correct on that. Anyway, so um, I'm hoping that you see it now. If you don't see it, of course, you know there's the forum. But, but go back over this video. Uh, you know, it will be recorded. And uh, hopefully you'll see. But this is the key point, because once you have this, then it's finished. The problem is over. All the questions are the same. So uh, 19. For 19, when you look at 
and it the choice A. Um, I'd like you to look at the fourth car the carbon that has the CH2OH group attached. And you go one carbon above, and you will see um, that there's an OH on the left and a hydrogen on the right. Does everybody see that? Okay, so another way to say it is that the third carbon from the top on answer choice A, so the third carbon from the top, answer choice A, has the arrangement that I just drew. OH on the left, H on the right. When we look at the Hayworth projection for figure one, okay, um, when we looked at the Hayworth projection for figure one, we went left. So now that we're looking at the Hayworth structure for figure three, we're going to go left. So we start with the oxygen at the top. We go left to the next carbon. The next carbon has a CH2OH group attached. And that CH2OH group is sticking up. Okay. The next, um, the next carbon we have has an OH group that's pointing down. Now we know, we know that when an OH group points down, it should end up on the right-hand side. So when you look at all the answer choices, and you look at oxygen, then you go down to the carbon, and that's the carbon with the CH2OH group. Then you go up one carbon, you need the COH on the right-hand side. Now there's two molecules that have OH on the right-hand side at that carbon, which means, it also means the third carbon from the top in the Fisher projections in the answer choices, B and D. There's two that have an OH group on that third carbon on the right-hand side, which is the proper side. But the problem is, answer choice D, at the very bottom, it has two CH2OH groups attached to the same carbon. Nowhere in the Hayworth structure in figure three are there two CH2OH groups attached to the same carbon. They're clearly attached to different carbons on different sides of the molecule. That's what makes as a choice D uh, incorrect at that point. A and C are incorrect because the third carbon from the top, they both have the OH group on the left-hand side, which I uh, indicated like this, third carbon from the top for answer choices A and C, and that's incorrect because we established that um, down is right. And so when we, the third um, carbon in the molecule that we're given in the Hayworth structure in figure three, which is fructose, down, and that means it has to be to the right. Okay, so uh, we're gonna look at the next question, uh, question number 20. When you look at answer choice D, and you're looking at the uh, Hayworth projection, you, you have, as you're going along in the uh, clockwise direction of the Hayworth projection, you have the oxygen, then you have an OH down and an OH down. From what we uh, discovered, down means right. So you have the oxygen, OH down, so we have right OH, right OH, which is correct when we look at the Fisher projection. We have the OH on the right for the first group, OH on the right for the second group. Then the third group in the uh, Hayworth projection, we have OH up, which means to the left, correct? And then OH down, which means to the right. So it follows the, the rule established with the first question. And then uh, answer choice 21 is just uh, following the rule established in the first question. It's asking uh, blah, 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 blah. 
but in the end, it says, um, right, the groups that are attached uppermost, which means for the groups that are up in the ring over here are in the same order attached to the groups that are on the left. Up is left. Established with the first question. So the answer to question 21 is A. You can see here, see that it's not arranged in the same way as in the problem, but you can see here at carbon-4, we have the substituent, which is the OH group, the hydroxyl group at carbon-4, which is down, and we said down right. So, and here you can see the, uh, the group uh, for carbon um, is to the right. It's, it's, it's to the right. You can see here at carbon-3, uh, this one is, uh, this one is up which means that it, carbon-3 should be to the left, actually. And then this one is down, which means it should be to the right. Uh, the answer to question 21 is A, and uh, 20 is D, and uh, 19 was B as in boy. So um, if you have question problems with this, after you listen to the video, you go over it again, you go step by step. Uh, then um, definitely uh, just post something on in the forum, uh, gamsat-pep.com forum, or uh, on Facebook, and, um, and hopefully uh, there'll be a way to work it out. Of course, I can't take the images from Acer's booklets and just plop them in front of you because of copyright reasons. So I cannot do that. I'm sorry, but I can't. And, um, and if you have the book, uh, you can go to Organic Chemistry 12.3.1. So there's diagrams, and hopefully you can follow the asterisks and Hayward's projections and so on.